Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just last week, I made a series of videos on how to clean this clip art up for a lady. And she wrote me back today and said, is there any way you could invert that where the letters would be engraved and not the... So this is called a reverse engraving on this and this. This is engraving and this is engraving. And I actually do think this would look good if you are going to put this for a logo for a, evidently a grandfather. So this is relatively easy. It's just, it's a little bit of, uh, you just got to think about what you're doing. I've got this broken apart and I'm going to go up here. I'm going to left click, no fill, but then I'm going to right click outline. I've got my nudge factor set on three inches. So I'm going to move it over. My saw blade is good. So I'm going to move it over. My designer maker is good. So I'm going to move it over. My hammer and chisel are good, so I'm going to move it over. Now, all this, I can select and go left click, right click, and see we've got some double stuff here. I don't know what's, I drew this logo, I'm pretty confident it's good, but there's something going on behind the scene. I might have a double logo there, so let's just back up here. And then what you could do is individually select these dots. And it's going to take just a second. But if you hold down your shift key, shift, just hold down your shift key and just grab the inner side, the insides of these dots. These are inside the text. And I wouldn't do the whole page. I would do that. I'm going to move those over. And then I'm going to go left click, right click. I don't know what, there we do. We've got something backed up in there. There's a ghost shadow or a, something going on. Maybe part of the original. I might even be, it's on the same page. I might even be on the original logo and I didn't um, uh, delete it all. But just get these inner parts and you could left click right click right now and then move over and then you got one left left click right click move over so we're basically done with the, to me the hard part um, there's really no other way around this because it's not um, you know certain items but we're going to use the smart fill tool to fill in what we want to engrave now we want those two lines engraved. I'm going to zoom in smart field tool on the E S T into 2015. And there is a way to do this another way, but a lot of times you'll fill in your interior parts of your letter. I think without zooming, I can do the Gibson. Might have to zoom in to get that. Nope. Got it. Now, this takes just a second, but you've got to, there's really not, not that I know of any other way around it. And, uh, cause you can't just, you know, invert this and, um, there might be an easier way, but I don't really mind doing stuff like this. And if you have another way that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. And I don't really need to do this all for the video, but I'm going to show the completed project. You get the idea. And we're almost done. Now what she wants to do, and this is, this next step is kind of important. You want to take this line and delete it to make sure you're not deleting something you shouldn't be deleting. Those lines are all connected together, but we're going to move them out of the way. And you see what's happened. We've got an outline. We don't need the outline anymore. We've got an out. We got a some. We've got some outlines right there. We don't need those. They're not going to be in our way. But what I'm going to do here is break, curve apart, and now take this line and move it back. Take this line and move it back. Take this line and move it back. Now, 
we can just delete this and you can do this one of two ways you can select that individually or you can select them with the shift key and then go down here and use black and I'm going to say two points just for grins and this is the next step make sure you hit check scale with object and if you think that looks good then I would group it together control G and the reason you want to scale it with object because I think this thing is two and three quarter inches large or small and if she wants to, I think the original deal is like an inch and a quarter so if you scale it to object those lines are going to stay no matter how big you make it they're going to stay they're not two points anymore but they're going to stay relative to the size anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching